This is the Silent Wave voice controller in VCB Rack. I'm going to show you how you can use it to calibrate um, external hardware to play back in tune with your virtual stuff. So what I have here is um, VCB's sequencer, um, a built-in VCO, and that's in this mixer channel, which you'll hear on the left. Um, and also coming out of the sequencer, um, I'm sending it out through an expert sleeper's ES3 over here, connected um, via ADAP from my Focusrite interface. And the CV is coming out of output one of the ES3 into the pitch input of a VCO. This is my trusty old analog systems RS95. I've got it set to about 1.5 volts per octave, just to make the point that um, we don't need to worry too much about how the hardware is calibrated and the output uh, from the RS95 is going back into the audio interface. That's coming into here in VCV, which is coming straight to the mixer so we can hear it. And it's also going to be going into here so we can calibrate. So at the moment, you'll, if I fade them both up, they're playing completely different things, as you'd expect, because there's no reason they should be playing the same thing. So if we take the uh, CV that's going to the VCO out of here and instead put it into the output of the voice controller. So just to review, output of voice controller off to the S3 pitch input of the VCO. And then the calibration input is getting the audio signal back from the VCO. And now if we press the start calibration button, It'll do its thing. There we go. So now it's now it's finished calibrating. It's using the pitch CV input from the sequencer out to the VCO as before. If I turn up, fade up the uh, VCO from rack, you can hear that they're in tune, which is nice. Just twiddle knobs, just to prove it's live. So there we go. Uh, VCO and interface calibration with Silent Way voice controller in VCB Rack.